Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the of Scott Selections here for Thursday, June 8th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. We had a nice winner in baseball with the Reds team total over four and a half runs and minus 120 on DraftKings. Faded Syndergaard, and it worked out well as Syndergaard was bad once again. The Reds finished with eight runs. Never in doubt for the winner here on Thursday. And for today's play of the day, going to pivot to hockey. Get a look at game three of the Stanley Cup Finals between the Golden Knights and the Panthers taking place at around 8 p.m. Eastern time. And for this game, we're going to take a player prop in this one. Going to take Vegas goalie Eden Hill over 30 and a half saves at minus 124 on FanDuel. Time recording of 1 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberland's why we're going to take the over and saves here for Hill. First reason is based on how the series has gone so far. The Panthers are now down to nothing. And since they are returning home, I do expect a pretty desperate effort from this team because they cannot afford to go down 3 nothing, And I do think with the home crowd behind them, Florida should be very aggressive from the opening faceoff, and that should result in a lot of added shot opportunities. Plus, the Panthers all season long were very good at getting shots on net. The Panthers averaged 36.8 shots on goal per game during the regular season, which was the most in the league. The number has dipped down a little bit in the playoffs, but still a pretty solid team in terms of shots on goal. Meanwhile, Vegas actually allowed a bunch of shots on net so far this postseason, as the Golden Knights are allowing 32.4 shots on goal per game this postseason, which is the fourth most of all teams that were in the playoffs. And last but not least, the Panthers have done pretty well with recording shots so far in the series, as they have recorded at least 31 shots on goal in each of the first two games in the series. But with Vegas being up 2 nothing. I do expect the Panthers to look really desperate and to try to really try to get anything past Hill, who's been really good so far in the series. I know Florida's defense has been quite underwhelming. That's why we're going to stay away from them entirely defensively. But I do think the Panthers bring it offensively. And I do think as a result, Vegas might have to play on their back feet, so to speak, be a little bit more defensive. And I do think because of that, Florida should end up going over this shot's uh, total, uh, once again, because 30 and a half, you're assuming Hill's probably going to end up allowing a limited number of goals based on how good he's been so far this postseason. So assuming that Florida gets around 34, 35 shots on goal, you're probably good. And I do think with that being the case, uh, this number is a little bit too low. Plus, you also have to have an overtime draw. So if you do have a game go to overtime, you see another long overtime like the Panthers and Hurricanes had a couple of in the previous round, then you're going to go over anyway. But the point is, I do think 30 and a half feels a little bit low uh, against a team that should really be focused on pressuring Hill as much as possible in route to trying to pick up a Stanley Cup win. So play that once again here for Thursday, June 8th is going to be on Aiden Hill over 30 and a half saves at minus 124 on FanDuel. Bye everyone.